Hey, hey, y'all. So it's me, Tessa from Gemini's Corner, your favorite tarot reader, coming to give you some energy for today. So you know what to do. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. And let's get into this. <clears throat> What's the energy around? Gemini and their specific person or the person. What is the energy around Gemini? Okay. Make the effort in reverse. <clears throat> What's the energy around Gemini and their specific person? Okay. Children and trust. Children has come out for you guys in the last couple of readings. So children may play a very significant part, okay? <clears throat> What's the energy around Gemini and that person? What's the energy around Gemini and that person? Reverse. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. So right off the bat, I feel like somebody here, whether it's you or your person, feels like there's a lack of effort on making something official. Okay. With children, you may not be receiving help with, with this community card. You may not be receiving the help that you need um when it comes to your children also and i'm just going to say i heard some of you may be dealing with somebody who got a lot of children okay this person could have definitely been like a player type and they got you know <clears throat> baby mamas and whatnot this is in my home let me see what this is in the deck <clears throat> yeah um also for this connection, there may be a group of people who is not, who are not in agreement with you dealing with this person because of children, okay, or vice versa. Your community, your group of people may not want you to deal with this person because of children or f for some reason, okay. Mature woman in trust. There's somebody here that either doesn't, that has some sort of trust issue. You may not trust this relationship. You may not trust this person. Um... You may not trust that this person is not still dealing with someone that they may have children from. Um, why is this trust and mature woman? I want to know about this. Why is this trust and mature woman here? <clears throat> why is this trust and mature woman here? Yeah. Yeah. So something was so something was brought to light. The sun card, five of swords, three of swords. Could be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, or a Leo. Um, but we see a child on this card. Okay. So I feel like you and this three of swords, we, we already know if you watch me for any length of time, you know that the three of swords, I gave that card the intention to mean that there's a third party. So <clears throat> you don't trust this connection because you found out that this person was still messing with somebody who I believe they have children from. Okay. So this is a third party situation basically. Yeah. <clears throat> bottom of the deck here Scorpio energy you're thinking about walking away from this connection or you have walked away from this connection now we all know I'm a law assumption tarot reader so I'm going to give you the affirmations you can either affirm in your head out loud um script it visualize I really wouldn't visualize I'm gonna say this and what I'm going to do, if somebody can help me in the comments, tell me how to make a playlist because I want to put all the law of assumption videos that have nothing to do with cards. Like it's not a reading. It's just me talking about law of assumption. I want to put those into their own playlist. Okay. So if somebody can help me down in the comments. Um, but I would not visualize a re, a reconnection or a reconciliation. Why? Because that says or that gives the assumption that you guys are not together if you are trying to manifest this person back then you should be living in the end where you and this person are already together 
So that's why I would not do visualize a reconciliation scene. If you still want this person, and this is for people who still want their person, if you don't want the person, don't put it in my comments. I could care less, okay? This is for my channel. I'm telling you how to get what you want. If you don't want it, then just, you know, move on. Um, <clears throat> but the affirmations that I would use, since this is a third party situation, you and this person have all revision. Me and this person have always been together. That have always implies that there has never been any other way. Okay. Me and this person have always been together. This person wants me and only me. Okay. Me and this person are in a committed relationship. That implies that there's nobody else. Okay. When you're making your affirmations, and I'm going to do a video on how to make affirmations, just a separate video. But when you're making your affirmations, I'm giving you what comes to me while I'm doing this. But <clears throat> this, the, the secret is using words that imply what, what you want to happen. I could say a word and you could say a word, right? The same word, but it may imply something different to me than it does to you. So let's just say I give you the affirmation, me and my person are in a commit. Oh, no, no. Me and my, my person is obsessed with me. When I say obsessed, it implies to me that this person is constantly calling me. They're, they're in love with me. They're doing anything to make me happy. You know, they're providing for me. They, they want to spend all their time with me. That's what obsessed implies to me. But when you say obsessed in your mind, that may imply that this person is stalking. Like it, it, it may have a different meaning for you. So choose words that imply <clears throat> it's not the affirmation. It's what the affirmation or what the words imply to you. Okay. What the, what the words imply to you. I would be affirming things like whatever implies that you are the only person that this person only has eyes for you. That this person only wants to be with you. They're not even attracted to anybody else. Whatever words imply that meaning to you, those are the words that you use in the affirmation. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. There's definitely some kind of, so I feel like there's some competition here. So <clears throat> this queen of wands, five of wands. Fire energy, that five of wands, Leo energy, four one, uh, four swords, I'm sorry, Libra, Libra energy, ten of swords, Gemini energy. So I feel like there's somebody here worried about the fact that this person is not making the effort and you feel like they're not making the effort due to um, someone else. OK, with that queen of wands out there, like I said, this is already I can already tell that this is a third party situation, the person that they may be dealing with. Um, maybe a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, but yeah, so the fact that you assume that this person is not, so you can't be affirming that you and this person are a committed relationship, but also hold the assumption that this person is not making the effort to make things official. That is contradictory. And that is what I mean about wavering. That is contradictory. How are you affirming that you and this person are together, but you assume that they're not making the effort in order to make it official? That is the opposite. Okay. How to get rid of this assumption. First of all, by staying out of the 3D. Okay. Not looking to the 3D for validation. Just because you've said your affirmation does not mean you go look at the 3D to see if it's working. Because you just, you say it's working. You're telling your mind that it's working. It's always working. There's always movement. Things are exactly how I want them to be. Everything always works in my favor. I get anything and everything that I want. Okay. But this is contradictory energy. If you, if you still want your person, you can't hold the assumption that they're not making the effort, but then affirm that you and this person are together. It, it, it's just, that's the opposite. Okay. <clears throat> What's this children? In, oh, four, 
of wands. What's this children and community in reverse? What's this children and community in reverse? A little more. Yeah. I feel like this other person may be trying to hold you. Yeah. I feel like this other person may be trying to hold on this, hold on to this connection and they're using the children as a anchor, right? So they're using the children as a way to hold on to this connection. They may be saying something like, Hey, you know, we've invested all this time and energy into this connection, Taurus energy, Sagittarius energy. Um, we've invested into this home, four of wands, Aries energy. And six of pentacles, Taurus energy, a lot of earth energy here. So you may be dealing with somebody who's slow to move. Earth energy is just slower moving. Okay. Air energy is faster moving. If you're dealing with an earth sign, I hate to give you that limiting belief because it really is limited. But um, most of the time, earth signs just move slower. Okay. Um, once they get invested somewhere, it's hard for them to just take up root and move and move to a different, you know, they, they would rather try to keep both of these things going. Okay. Then to completely move and start and start over new. Okay. Because they've made an investment. They're looking at the time and the money that's been invested in this. Okay. It may be people in their circle, their family, their friends that are also saying the same thing. Okay. Now, does that mean you can't manifest this person to be with you and only you? No, that doesn't mean that at all. Circumstances don't matter. They never matter. Circumstances don't matter. Um, I also feel with this six of pentacles here that even though this person may be trying. So this person is dealing with both of y'all. I'm just going to say that. All right. Clarify the six of pentacles. This person is dealing with both of y'all. Um, Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there's some hurt feelings here. You're, you're, the burden of this is, is weighing on you emotionally. Sagittarius energy. Queen of Cups. Cancer, Gemini energy, or just any water sign. Okay? More Cancer energy with this Four of Cups. This, so, this person, there's love here. or This person loves you and doesn't want to miss an opportunity. Right? But I feel like what they're offering is not enough for you, okay? And you're getting to the point to where you you don't want to be bothered, right? It, this person is, is dealing with both of y'all and is going to try to deal with both of y'all. But it's still lopsided, right? If you look at this card, this person is getting offered way more. Even in term of coin. Because this is where they've invested. They have children over here, you know. So, of co so naturally, they're going to invest more over here. Um, and I think the imbalance is what the problem is when it comes to you. <clears throat> you don't feel like the priority to this person. The affirmation or affirmations that I will use if I don't feel like the priority is I am this person's priority. I am this person's top priority. This person always chooses me first. I am always chosen. Okay. Nobody comes before me. Nobody is more important than me. I am the most important thing to this person. Okay. Those would be the affirmations that I would use if I had the assumption that I was not the priority to this person. <clears throat> Let's get a few of these. Attraction. So there's definitely a, a, you guys are attracted to each other, right? Um, yeah, there's getting ready to be some kind of sexual encounter. This person may also be getting ready to tell you that they love you if they haven't yin and yang. So you guys are a pair. Okay. I keep hearing it's a vibe. It's a vibe. Is it that from TikTok? Um, that may resonate. But 
you are you and this person are a pair okay you guys are actually the same in a lot of ways so to me use that to your advantage what 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 do you need to affirm if you if the shoe was on the other foot and you were this, this person what would you need to see or what would you need to affirm <clears throat> for this how can i explain it because you guys are the same you think from their perspective and create affirmations from their perspective okay so what do i mean by that if you want this person to not be able to stay away from you such and such loves being around me they can't wait to be around me they spend all their time with me this person loves to be around me they love the um chemistry that me and this person me and my person have together so you create affirmations from their perspective that is a that's just another technique okay um but i feel like also there's getting ready to be some kind of sexual encounter here or there's a need for it with the sexual healing and the ecstasy okay like i said there is love here ace of cups came out this person definitely loves you but i feel like what they're offering is not enough for you okay this person i feel like with this i love you coming out this person hasn't expressed that okay and i feel like they're getting ready to ex actually express their feelings because i don't think they have <clears throat> look <laughs> i just got done singing the it's a vibe it's a vibe yeah you guys have a really good time together okay this person feels like being with you is, is being free, okay? There's a freedom in, there's a, a freedom in being able to be your absolute self. I feel like you, you create a space with a person where they can be exactly who they are. They can say things to you or say things within your connection that they can't say elsewhere, okay? So you give them space to be authentic, basically, okay? And you guys may have started off as friends, but this is definitely more like a more than a friend type connection, especially with this Ace of Cups out here. So, Gemini, I hope this reading is helpful for you. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.